Girl, turn on some lights. Why are you just standing in the dark with some food? Ah, Jesus Christ, Cody. Tonight we're going to be watching Aftermath. Aftermath has been on my to-do list for a while, but other things kept coming up. And my husband actually suggested it to me. He was like, have you seen this movie? It, the, the comments were wild. Like, one comment even read the person couldn't even go to the bathroom after seeing this movie. So apparently, it's a lot spookier than I actually thought it was. So, after seeing the wild comments, it definitely moved from number 22, the number one spot. So I'm going to be watching that tonight. And um, yeah, I don't want to talk a lot, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm about to grab my food and let's watch Aftermath. It's streaming now on Netflix. So if you have a little if you have a Netflix subscription, go ahead and cue that bad boy up and let's go ahead and get into it. You can still scream your location. Mm -mm. First thing she should have said is her location and hung up. Are you still there? Or just call and let them trace you. Trace the call. A normal size gun would have done the exact same job. Please stop talking. You're telling me you wouldn't prefer just a nice clean overdose? It's a Tuesday afternoon for Christ. Guys, can we please focus? We're already running behind. Come on. Got some protein ready for this boat. Tea. Ooh. The guy used a gun that size knowing he was going to put a Jackson Pollock on the wall. All I'm saying is, that's kind of a douche move. You can't call a dead man a douche. Why not? Because it's insensitive. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good morning, ma'am. The inside of the house is clean. Oh, sorry about that. Is this... I don't know, is this funny to you? You get off joking about people's tragedies? No. No, not at all. Oh, no, so you're just an asshole. Pretty much. Or do you prefer douche? Okay, why don't I take you on the walkthrough, sign off and everything, okay? After you. 
I just want to confirm that that is your current address in case we have to get a hold of you. Yes. Okay, last one. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. And again, I apologize for my team's behavior. We really are sorry for your loss. Thank you for choosing this. Let's hope it's a one-off. Are you serious? Let's get you home. Hi. Hi. Mm. Don't they look lovely? I'm happy. So far, I'll know. I don't know how to say this nicely, but you're kind of crowding me just a little bit. <laughs> you're such a jerk. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Whoa, easy, easy, watch the boys. It was an accident, I promise. Yeah, right. Hey. What? Do me a favor, don't leave the dark star, right? Shut up. And, you know, it's still a maybe. No. You're too good for this not to work out. You know that, right? Oh, him in love. Ah, doing it on the couch with no case. I remember those times. Uh oh. I can't do this. Uh -oh. How are things going to be, you, Kevin? I'm not even mad anymore. Honestly, I, I just feel numb. It's not about the affair. It's about the betrayal. Uh oh. <laughs> you know, you give your whole life to somebody and they're only giving you half of theirs. And the whole time you have no idea. Uh oh, she tweeted. And how's it going in the romantic department? In the aftermath of an affair. Room is made for a new kind of truth, a new kind of understanding and communication. But you cannot sit in ruin, waiting for it to rebuild itself. Gotta do the work. Have you considered a change of environment? Uh, of course. I mean, that would be ideal. Excellent. The truth of the matter is, your first marriage is over. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Now you need to ask yourselves, would you like to create a second one together? <laughs> Good question. Take action. I can't imagine this. Make a change. Give yourselves the gift of a new environment. So the therapist is trying to say a new house is going to make their marriage? She's right. Your first marriage is kind of shot shit. What? I'm just being honest, which sounds like the missing link. Who has money family. to buy a new house if their marriage is not working out? Forgive me. You fucked up, sure, but you know, he's not the only victim in the situation. 
I know you won't say this because you'd rather take the blame. So I'll say it for you. Don't. Your needs weren't being met. I can't use that as an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's reality. I have to get money here, okay? I can't go back and forth about this, Dana. Okay? Keep hold away from you, Matt. Yeah. Well, I, I think that anyone who found their brother hanging in a closet would have done the same thing. Ooh. Come on, Matt. Talk about trauma. Hey, what are you doing home already? I just finished early today. Not interrupting anything, am I? No, no, not at all. Hey, Danny. How's it going? Oh, uh, shit, you know what? I gotta, I gotta go. Gotta, I gotta work stuff. I'll text best you. Best friend hates husband, okay. husband hates yeah. best friend. Ooh, awkward. Uh, I wanna run something past you here for a minute. Okay. Are you fucking insane? No, I'm trying to heed the advice that we've been paying for. Just take a look at the house. No, thank you. Look, I talked to the owner. She's gonna give us a great price. You are to talk to the owner. Well, yeah. Well, I'm taking action. Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Why would you talk to someone about buying a house before even asking me? That's not- hey, Natalie, you don't understand. This place is perfect. It's disturbing. I promise you, you wouldn't be able to tell that anything happened there. I know I cleaned it myself. I don't want oh. to go into a house where there was a murder suicide. It was unfortunate what happened there. Okay, of course. New this house? Beautiful new house? Are you really being that cavalier about it? We live in the murder 21st suicide. century. Absolutely not gonna be history and I'm willing to bet that it's not gonna be great. Okay? Domestic abuse, child porn, asbestos. I don't want to move into a house where I'm haunted by the image of someone's brains being splattered all over the living room wall. I mean, fair. Well, I don't want to sleep in a bed where I have to relive my <coughs> sucking out of the guy's dick. Ooh, also fair. <clears throat> Damn. You stopped helping yourself. You dropped out of college. You wouldn't talk to me, let alone go anywhere near me. I had a moment of weakness, and I hate myself for that. But you can't keep punishing me. I know. I just sleep on the couch, okay? Lord have mercy. Not when you just yeah. scrape somebody's brain off the wall. And I can't watch you throw your life away anymore. Uh-uh. It's not giving. It's not giving. Okay. It's not giving. Promise me. here and there with the cameras. I, I, I guess you would have to call the company to set up. As you guys already know, my brother and his wife designed everything here, so you're going to get a lot of expensive extras at a low cost. Oh, guys, wait till you see outside. Yeah. I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself. Wow. I know that this is not an ideal situation for anyone, but this cat yard and the closet space, right? Look, Claudia, we're obviously very interested, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been a rough couple of years for us. I know it's not what you offered, but it's what we can afford. 
If you can say yes to that number, we can sign the paperwork today. We really need a fresh start. Please, let's talk about this. And the truth is, we haven't had a prospective buyer in months. I don't know, I guess people scare off easily these days. Add another 20k and it's yours. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, you have no idea how much this means to us. We're just as happy to have it off our hands. And I know that you guys will be really happy here. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Enjoy the house. Ah, uh, Roberts. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> It's gorgeous. <laughs> well, Odie loves it. So, beautiful, right? Eh? Something. So that's where he killed her? Oh, so creepy. Thank you. Please, I am just pointing out the obvious. Nice plot of land. Perfect for burying murder victims. Are you, uh, sure this is a good decision? Oh, no, here we go. Just seems like a lot to go through to get laid. That's all. <laughs> okay, well, in case you didn't notice the moving boxes that you helped carry in, it's a little late for that. As Mom or Gandhi would say, it's never too late. Uh, Gandhi never said that, and Mom is an idiot. Ooh, not Mom is an idiot. That was very harsh on both parties. <laughs> Dead body. <laughs> I called it. Oh, no, I need a friend like that. Uh-uh. Dog barking at mysterious door or basement door. Oh, that is all you. Red flag number one. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. Is that where he pulled her out from? Jenny, stop. You know, it's her own fault hiding in the closet instead of using the front door. She's got a point. What? I always right, gotta get out the house freezer. instead of trying to hide somewhere. Oh, them scratches. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry, baby. Are you okay? I don't know. Is it bleeding? No. What the hell are you doing? I'm joking. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn. I can hear you fast asleep. <laughs> No, 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 I want it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, come on, Odie. Come on. Come on, Dog always knows something. Dogs, kids, always know something. What? Mm -mm. 
fast as we bought this house, as fast as we can sell it. Move out, shit. stand in your office and they're not there. Right, so that's probably not the last place you have. Hmm. You know what? I never really thought of that. It's amazing how some people can really put it into perspective for you. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm late and I slept like shit and I look like shit. And you look beautiful. Well, you look fine. And you were going to do great today. Okay, that truly not what it was. You don't have to be ashamed of it. The magazine is weird. You just use the internet. Can we, can we just look for your keys? Yes, Thank I can. You. Okay. <laughs> look, I told you, I already excavated the entire place. It's not there. Mm-mm-mm. I swear to God I checked there. Well, maybe God's just having an off day. And he's trying so to fuck with you. Playing do you have some keys? porn to go look at? I love you. I love you, too. Oh, um, I know you have a crazy day between work and class, so I packed your lunch. It's in the fridge. We live. Okay. Uh -oh. Go on, get lost. Bye. Bye. I'm back. I packed lunch from wifey to make up for the cheat. Suspicious. My youngest daughter, Mama, is an absolute nightmare. Thank you. Especially when it comes to wardrobe. The amount of gifts that I've had to return to clothe an entire third world country. She's worn three of your samples in the last week. I think you have a really good eye for color and texture and quality. A female entrepreneur and an intelligent one at that. Before opening up your own location, <coughs> we'd like to establish you as a brand name. Is that an offer? We can have you in anywhere between 150 and 250 stores by the end of the season. Is this the part where I leave and pretend to think about it, or can I just fix that? Yeah, now? No, 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 I would love to. <laughs> oh, great. Thank you. Can I hug you? Of course. Thank you so much. I'm going out of town next week. Oh, my associate hair. associate will be handling the preliminary process. Okay. Okay, girl. <laughs> 250 stores. Cheers to that. You to modernize the structure using the original foundation. Guess what? You get to pair up. Yes, so look around, find a partner, someone that's probably smarter than you. You might actually learn something. Take this seriously. This is half of your grade. Don't procrastinate. Check in with each other. Meet up at a coffee shop. Go to a house. I don't care. If you need help, email me. Don't call. I won't answer. You again. Yes, me. I'm stalking you, didn't you know? Yeah, I kind of figured. So, Kevin. So, Avery. Oh, it's a little presumptuous. Okay, well, we're partners now, so I have to be able to reach you. Thank you for making it super weird. 
There you go. All right, Evan. We'll see you in class. And don't worry because this is going to be the single fucking greatest class project of all time. Just saying. Okay. History of mankind. Show me again. I okay, shut it. You already was on my back. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. He's a lucky lady. Okay, we love to be wine and dine the candle. So, Those two. Suck. The one. <laughs> Ew, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna go hang with Odie. At least he appreciates no, me. No, 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 I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I do. Thank you. You're welcome. Come here. I just figured that if they offered you a deal, we could celebrate, and if they're wrong and they didn't, then we can just get drunk. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, God, you have no idea how badly I needed that. I'm proud of you, man. And not just because you chugged that old thing. <laughs> but you really deserve this. Okay, are we gonna hit all the bases this time and slide in the home run or not? And here we go. <coughs> mm -mm, you should not be doing that like that in, in your house. Don't do that. Lying. I know damn well that needs your husband. He is fast asleep. This is like four and five. Okay, we should go off the bottom. Oh, grandma falls in there.
Oh, ma'am. I should go tell old boy, but You okay? No, the hell I'm not. No, the hell I'm not. It's a bad dream. You know, I was thinking about that. Yeah. It was a bad dream. I bet it was. And I still hear you say it. <laughs> Somebody got this mojo pack. See really? Mm -hmm. That's new. Well, my meeting is done at five, so I was thinking maybe we could grab dinner, watch a movie. I wish I got called on site. Well, I thought you were going to cut back on your hours. Yeah, but I'm trying to get ahead of the expenses. Just be smart about it. <laughs> well, that's me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Very beautiful jerk. Oh, that's all I've heard. Cocky. No. It's just my way of saying thank you for the note. What note? Kevin Dutch? Yeah. The note on the mirror? Okay, exactly my sending for it. Uh, okay, here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. They racked up $2,000 worth of porn in your bank account. Yeah. Wow. A ghost sighting and identity theft in one day. That's pretty badass. It wasn't a ghost. What kind of porn is it? What? I'm just trying to help. Maybe I know some people who want it. So the ghost is ordering porn at the house. What the? That makes that makes no sense. Pressure starting a new business. The stuff with you guys. The new moon. It is kind of a lot at once. Dude. Are you going to listen to me or are you just going to text? Oh no, I'm, I'm going to text. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> are you serious? Who's Avery? Nobody. Some cute girl he shouldn't be texting, but he is anyway. Uh -oh. What, is that not accurate? Okay, it's all contained in one room. Let's get it cleaned up quickly. <laughs> oh, hey, wait a minute. Who is she? Where did you meet? And did you touch bathing suit parts? Honey, what's the tea? Parts. We're meeting up later to work on some class stuff. So the sooner we get done, the better. Is she cute? Yeah. I'm not going to answer it. Why not? Because she's cute. No, because it doesn't matter. Sounds like karmic retribution. Yeah, because she's cute. Okay, just so you guys know, things between Natalie and I have been much better lately. Oh. Yeah, like much better. Aside from the paranoid hallucination. Okay, guys, come on, let's go. Yeah. But everything else is so much better. What? Yeah, yeah. nope. Pass. Please. Look, Danny, oh. I don't have time for this oh. right now, okay? I have to get ready for a meeting. Oh, come on. After everything I hoped to with last year. Really? You're any guilt with me now? Only because we 
mom is guilt tripping me. Besides, I already told her you're hosting dinner. What? But Danny, the last time that mom came into town, we had to check you into rehab. If you want to have a relationship with her, do your thing, okay? But I decided a long time ago, I don't want to deal with it. You know, I never ask you for anything. That is definitely not true. Cody, I have been playing with you all morning. She's probably going to go MIA again after this anyway. What is so bad about a slightly painful dinner every few years? Fine. You can bring her here, okay? But that is as much effort as I am putting in. Okay. Okay, look, I have to get ready for this meeting, okay? Go ahead. <sighs> she gets stuck. Oh, yeah. Really? No, no, no. Keep it together. We'll get to your meat, Hi, child. I'm please. checking in under Dadditch. How are the other members? Heat on that floor. Oh, great. Thank you. Hey, stranger. Nick. Oh, Good to see you. Yeah, you too. If you want to just follow me this way. Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but I actually have a business meeting. So. Yeah. Yeah. Alan, wait, just hear me out, no, will you? No, that I can't be seeing you right now. If Kevin finds out about this... Well, then tell me, okay? You just tell him that you had no idea, and that's the truth. Why didn't you tell me? Because I knew you wouldn't come. Yeah, well, a heads up would have been nice before I signed the paperwork. I know. You have every right to be mad, I get it. But you are talented, you know? Again, I'm not letting you throw away an opportunity over whatever happened between us. It's stupid. Anne really likes you. Okay, all I did was provide the info. That's it. Oh boy, it's about to be Come messy. Such a messy bitch. <coughs> messy boots. Fine. Fuck it. I'm going in for another shot. You want one? Oh, I'm good. Sure, it's 100% agave. Yeah, I gotta drive. Dude, okay. you do realize we have like two solid hours of work ahead of us. Alright, yeah, I guess I have to then. No, you don't have to. Huh? Is that West Elm? Uh, close. It's a hand-me-down from my brother. Cheers. Liquor. First mistake. I'm supposed to be studying. I'm working on a project. Mm -hmm. So what about you? Do you have any siblings or? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, brother. Be honest to see. The good looking one. He was actually. What, and then he got fat? No, he died. Oh my god, dude. Look, I'm so sorry. I'm just so insensitive. <laughs> I'm no, you're okay. If you ever needed someone to talk to or anything. Lord, is she home alone? And it's cold. Oh, Lord. Here we go. And here we go.
No, no. Ciao. Is getting too cerebral for you? No, uh, I think it's a sinus issue. You want some nasal spray? Um, I'm gonna pass on the used nasal spray. Thank you, though. Hey, hey, hey. It's organic. Clever up so, but I think I'll live. I should get home. Anyway. Bye, good luck, yeah. What the fuck does she got in the cup? Wake up. Easy. It's just me. What are you doing sleeping on the couch? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Come on. What's wrong? She wants someone who sent me here. No, I know what you're gonna say. It was another nightmare, but it was vivid. Kevin, I felt it. Look, the door was locked. You were passed out, and they're probably no, working. No, you're not listening to me. It was real. <coughs> you're calling me a liar. No, that's what you're choosing to hear. All right, let's just talk feelings. Pissed off. Kevin? Yeah, I can tell she's pissed. No, how are you feeling? Frustrated? I don't know. But my point is, is that we've both been going through some difficult changes. And tonight we have this dinner with her mother that neither one of us are looking forward to. Maybe all the stress is an accumulation of these hits. How does that explain what I saw? Paranoid hallucination. How is it to blame hallucination? No. You know how much it takes for a brain to actually but crack through the... Like this with each other. Yeah, we're well, going to be able to hallucinate? To opposite. I'm not. I'm just trying to think of every rational explanation, man. I hate seeing you like this. If I could take this all the way and make it my own, you know I would. I you try to believe her. Let's go have a shitty meal with your mom. How about that? Okay. I mean... I'm not lying. Girl, turn on some lights! Why are you just standing in the dark with some food? I Jesus Christ, Obi. Give me a freaking heart attack. There's a lamp right there. Thank you. Yes, Nat, I fed your dog. Oh, Odie, oh, Odie oh, already knows what's up. Odie oh, already knows what's up. Odie? Oh, please don't kill Odie. No! Oh, it's like they killed a dog first. Odie? You know it is going on in your house and you're gonna let your baby sister nah. go there by herself? Like, it's giving you a terrible sister. Y'all should have all arrived together. I would have probably did. Oh. 
Space. Mm. This looks like the waste water. Girl, go on, get. We need to get out of here now. Find a front door, girl. Go on, get. Uh-uh. Yo, whatever you're looking for, you just go. Fuck the dog. Fuck the dog. I'm sorry, I'll be. Go out the front door. The front door is right there. Go out the door. What are you doing? Go out the door. You dumbass. Back upstairs for of a phone. Oh, it got her phone. Yes, he should touch, touch your happy ass out the front door. Chair upstairs. Mm -hmm. You're fucking believable. But I guess she's not up there. Well, maybe she went out to get some last minute stuff. Let's be honest, she's not the most organized. But I told her she <coughs> needed to be here to feed Odie. Okay, so we'll feed him now. Kevin, he's been home alone all day. Look, I'm sure he's down here somewhere. Odie! Odie, come on, You know, 
I knew she was going to do this. This is why I don't want to be involved. It's like she tries to plan these things for my mom, and then they get into it, and then I have to clean up the mess, and it's such bullshit. I, I just I just want her to show up, and she says she's going to show up. Don't worry about Danny. She'll show up, and if she doesn't, just deal with her when she does. Look, Odie is okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to handle dinner. Just want you to relax, okay? It is such a trip how America westernizes these international cuisines. When I was in China, there's none of this sweet and sour general style crap. Yeah, sorry to drop the pick out on you, Farah. Uh, Just short of time. No, 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 thanks, Kevin. It's wonderful. Interesting. Hmm. So, I, uh, take get you're still working on that documentary then? If you're talking about my life's work, Yes, I'm still working on that documentary. Life's work. How's it going anyway? Oh, it's going wonderfully. Mm. Joaquin and I. Who's Joaquin? He's my lover. Right. Is there any more sexual <laughs> Natalie, no. if there's something on your mind, I am opening the door for you to share it with me. I don't think you want to open that door. Thanks. I'm allowed to enjoy my life, Nancy. You know, when I was your age, I was raising two daughters and running a home business. Who funded that business, Mom? Oh, right, it was Dad. Drinks, beer, wine. Why is right. it so hard for you to support me? Well, it's hard to support something that I've never seen. You know, I don't have to subject myself to this kind of harassment. Harassment? Yes, harassment. You're a bully, Natalie. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if that's why your sister decided not to show up. Uh, I think we all know that. No, 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 Kevin, it's fine. I'd like to leave now. Yeah, Kevin, she'd like to leave now. Tell Joaquin I said hi. You know what, sweetheart? This brooding teen act is a little outdated. Mom, so is the whole free-spirited charade. You should probably think about taking I raised two daughters off your resume because you quit that job a long that time ago. That is so unfair. I sacrificed everything for you and I, 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 you are such a fucking narcissist. You not care a narcissist. About okay. You, honestly, Danny's probably at her house right now relapsing, shooting up just like she had in her last time. And say that to me. You ripped her in life like a goddamn cancerous tornado. That was much needed. What the hell is going on in here? John Santos, 19. Katrina Cantor, 16. Trey Mahana, 17. Any all of them look familiar to you? No. I've never seen any of these people in my life. <clears throat> the night the white. I don't get it. What is that? One of the kids copy and paste this post onto the Facebook page. The original source had your address listed on it. It calls to recruit white supremacist members. You think we did? Well, I don't know what to think yet, but I do know it's a crazy time and anything goes. How dumb would you have to be to put your home address on something like this? As dumb as you'd have to be to post it in the first place. Okay, Officer Richardson, I think what Kevin is trying to say is that we would never contribute to something like this. Ever. That's the case. You should start thinking about someone you know who would. I mean, we just moved in a couple months ago. We haven't had time to meet the people around us. Uh, what about enemies outside the area? Anyone who may harbor your will? The porn. Scorned lover, vendetta of some kind? No. No, I mean, I'm at work, school, or home. I don't have time for interactions outside of that right now. Ms. Dedich? Mm -mm. No one. Isn't there a way to trace back who posted this? Sure, absolutely, if uh, the original post hadn't been deleted. So that's it? I mean, what do we do? They think we're running some sort of goddamn Nazi okay, operation? They burned the car! Natalie? Listen, Mr. Dad, we are following... They got ghosts yeah. inside? There's other information. White supremacists outside? What the fuck? Can I just that motherfucking house? That would be very helpful. Oh, blessing that immediately comes to mind. Right. Well, 
if something does. Taria, hi. It's Natalie Gavage. I was just in the neighborhood and these are for you. Oh, how nice. You want? Mm -hmm. What do you want? What do you want, girl? We got it, Odie. The ball. Get, get the ball. Fancy meeting you here. Hey. <laughs> here. No. Forget it. You look tired and dehydrated. Take it, please. <laughs> the hell should mm. come from? And thanks for meeting me here today. Between Natalie's family drama, house, school, I just need a normal conversation. Happy I can help. Mm. Your dog sucks at fetch. Yeah, he does. Horrible. Here you go. Obviously, what happened the other night at the house was just people toying with us, but there's still just some things that... Uh, I don't know, they're just... different. You want to know what happened? Yeah. The truth is, I don't know. Nobody does. Sure, we know the logistics, but we don't know why. Jake could be an asshole. He's my older brother, and I love him. I loved him. When they were living out of state, Jay wasn't as faithful to Erin as he once promised. As you can imagine, it didn't go over too well with Erin. So she decided to get even. She had an affair too. Some mystery man no one ever heard about. She never said his name or who it was. So Jay knew about it. Eventually. The thing is, all those women that Jay messed around with, they were more like trophies, you know? But Erin? Erin, she had real feelings. Mm -hmm. Erin? Well, she said it was a one-time thing, but that bitch was up to something. <laughs> Erin designed the house from the ground up. But Jay paid for everything. Every single cent, no questions asked. My brother loved that woman to a fault. What's so cheated on her? They were getting along better too. I don't understand if they were doing so much better than me. Why? Between you and I. My brother didn't do it. Sure, he had a temper, but he wasn't a murderer, and he certainly wouldn't commit suicide. And what, all of a sudden the cameras are all fucked up? Hmm. There was a lot of little details that just didn't add up. Oh. The cops didn't care about any of that. It's not like it was a white man's murder. I didn't know we had company. Oh, oh man. Please, tell me you twisted your ankle playing with my dog so I can make fun of you forever. I think it was the bee. I think a bee got me. A bee got you? Yes. Yeah. Is it like bad? Does it look bad? Uh, there it is. Hold on, hold on. Got it. Oh, that... Right there. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> so are you okay? We're gonna have to amputate. <laughs> I think I'll get a second opinion. <sighs> I don't like this. Hey, maybe you should check on Udi. Odie. Odie, come here, bud. Odie. Hey. I will never see him like this. You know, get some water. That way. That way. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry for the intrusion. No, no, no. I, I'm sorry for making you uncomfortable. Claudia just brings things on me sometimes. I just she runs her mouth a lot. I don't know how to her mouth a lot. So you're having some some problems with the house? I bet you he knows what's up, you know. I may have heard a little more than I was supposed to. I, I'm I'm sure it's fine. You know, I I think given the shock of everything, Claudia may have acted a little impulsively. If you're having trouble with it, I'd be willing to negotiate with you. Buy the house back. Sell that bitch. Bless? Yeah. 
given the issues, I'm, I'm sure that appreciates the value. Thank you for the offer, but um, I just can't do this as a thing. I will put that hit. Uh, uh. Not in her right mind. All he left her was that house. Why are you, you two swipe it out? Why are you so invested in the house? Like a free meal. Think about what I said. You're an asshole, but I still saw you back to her. Who mm -hmm. got time for ghosts? Hey, 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 slow down. What's wrong? Oh, Lord, she there? Hi, I'm Avery. Kevin's class partner. I had mentioned that a couple weeks ago. Right. I just forgot. Well, I'm gonna... Hi, buddy. Feel better. Nice to meet you. See you, class. Yeah, that's... What? All right. Let's get to it. We ran Odie's blood work. I'm gonna be honest here. Between that and his physical, it doesn't look good. How not good is it? His blood contains elements of a powerful toxin causing his health to deteriorate. It's usually due to something the dog accidentally ingested, but the root of it is that his heart is giving out on him. But was this something that we can treat? It'd really just be prolonging the pain. Take the time you need. Talk about it. Oh, poor Odie. Not a slow, painful, prolonged death. Why would he leave flowers for her? I just, I didn't want it to cause any issues. You're the sign, dude. Stay in your lane. This deal could change everything. I wasn't in a position to turn it down. I had already signed the paperwork, but I swear I had no idea. Have you been reading? Such a messy bitch. It's just fuck. You know, goddamn city full of people and you have to work with him. It's Clay, okay? Have to look. I don't have a choice. Oh, shit. I should have told him the second. You chose your work over my feelings, over our marriage. No, that is not right. He's trying to get into your pants, no, man. It's not like that. Oh, no, I can't work. You got to this out, girl. You should have told him the minute you saw him again. And now he sent you flowers. Oh, girl, you. Mm. Messy, messy, messy. Don't you have enough to worry about? Ghost, the car on fire. Oh, the only back home. I thought Odie was in. Okay, he finally heard it too. Thank God. So at least now he can see me. She's not hallucinating. Did you phone ready to call the cops? Okay, my fucking phone is not here. Okay, stay calm. Don't fucking leave me up here. Girl. They hear the downstairs.
And let's get so the camera focus going in and out makes it creepier. Noises. No doors, nothing. And no physical description. There wasn't anyone there to describe. Hey, I'm just trying to jog your memory. Okay, we'll write up a report. If anything else comes to mind, feel free to reach out to me directly. There is one other thing. Nah. If you could not make me feel like a lunatic, that would be great. I've been having these nightmares. There is this man, this real thin, pale. In the home? Yes. I swear to you, I saw him. He crawled out into my hallway and then he attacked me. I see you, you had a pale man crawl into your hallway and attack you. You sound nuts. <laughs> and you didn't think to report it. No, because like Kevin mentioned at the time, I, I thought it was just nightmares. But then things, they, they started disappearing and reappearing in other places. And there was this tennis ball that he put on my bed. Okay, so he put a tennis ball on your bed. No, the, the tennis ball it was underneath my bed. And I could not reach it. So I, I went to grab something. And when I came back, he had put it back on my bed. Okay. Well, that's that's just insane. <laughs> Got it. Sounds like a nut job, girl. Mm -mm, you never told. We'll be in touch. You never told the cops that. Cause this makes it look cool. Oh, we no found your phone in the kitchen. Thank you. We'll just move and move on. I hope you know how insane that man is just seen. Wait, you know what, Kevin? Your wife is sitting with the cops, telling them that she doesn't feel safe, that I am terrified, and that's your response? Someone just vandalized our house, Kevin. You don't think it's within the realm of possibility that someone could be breaking into our house? Not to move tennis balls and house keys around. No. Okay, well, you know what? Let me remind you that I am not the only one who heard whatever was in our house tonight, okay? So, what? Kevin, what do you want me to do oh, now? I don't know, Kevin. We have a house of cameras maybe that's a good place to do you start. have any idea how expensive that would yeah, be my guess would be less than our funerals whenever someone murders us in our sleep okay pump the brakes on the melodrama what we need to be buying is a new car to replace the rental that we are spending a fortune on we can afford this right now yeah so uh once you're logged in we'll be able to control the lock from any room <laughs> in the house Can't so uh, red means locked green is that right now everything's running smoothly but if you start experiencing some good changes give us a call if it's a consistent problem we might have to replace the whole system excellent touching the girl said i want to feel safe in my home i want him texting for danny what I it's just thing it's simple rack with 15 additional samples by the time they come back. I know. And what? It's two weeks later, and I have half that. I am. <coughs> as a person, I am not <coughs> the shit storm that is your life right now. But as your boss, I warned you what you would be getting into. I don't know what to say. If you had any idea how embarrassed I am, I'll give you the extension. One week. Understood? Yes. I need to see the woman who was here in this office when we first met. That woman had her life together. Well, baby, my life is a fucking shitstorm right now, so you're gonna get these clothes when you're gonna get them. If any. I don't know what to tell you, man. Sounds like you bought a lemon. You guys saw that house. It's perfect. The price we got it for was apparently way too much. Whatever. Let's just get this cleaned up. Before the sun goes down. You know, a similar thing happened to me once. What? Met the super cute girl, eyes, smile, even had a good personality. So, I sleep with her. I wake up in the morning with chlamydia. Also, How do eating oh, Chinese takeout with that scene look, in front of him? Know, Man. In the morning with chlamydia. That's not the point of the story. I love the horror movies. If you're going to tell a story fun. like that, facts actually matter. I mean, how do you even know that she gave you the chlamydia? 
How about not send fucking flowers no, no, to the house? Fine, I have it, okay? Did I do something to upset you? Yeah, I really didn't want to bring this up, especially not right now. But yeah, since we're on the subject of it, you cannot be sending flowers to my house, Nick. Okay. Um. Was I supposed to send flowers? No, the flowers that you sent. I mean, we haven't gotten a huge fight yet. No, oh, wait. I, I didn't send you any flowers. Oh. Nick, I saw the card. You signed it. You said stay away, and so I did. I know you fucking know it. Not the ghost sending her flowers or in porn sending flowers. What? We trying to drive a wedge between the two of them. The ghost of being in love with her. This is what happened with the last couple. He was in love with her and then made the husband go. Child, it's time to go because you won't end up dead. You missed the best time you ever had. is trying to break into my house. It's 992 Hello Parkway. What's your first and last name? Natalie Deathwich. <laughs> please, I need to meet you right now, please. We have officers dispatched. I need you to remain calm. Keep talking to me on the phone, okay? Okay. How many intruders are there? I, I don't know. Are they armed? I don't know. Ma'am, are you able to get to a secure location? <sighs> Get close. They're on the way, but I need you to answer my question. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, I, I made a mistake. No, 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 come on, come on. No, I just, I'm, I'm so sorry. We just had a scare earlier this week and I'm really on edge. Mm -hmm. You be safe, okay? Yeah. Thank 
trick of man. Was that the tin? Was that the tin pill man? And then there was somebody else in a hoodie behind her little thing. Oh How's lord. She doing? She's doing okay. Pretty bruised up. May have a slight fracture. Did she find him? Not yet. Of course, there's nobody there. We're not sleeping here tonight. The police check the whole house. I don't care if they sit in their cars and wait around all night. I'm not sleeping after what happened. You don't believe me. I don't believe you, you saw something. No, you don't believe that someone was actually in that house. What about my phone, Kevin? How do you explain all the pictures on it, huh? Maybe your friend Nick took them. Oh, here we go. Wow, really? <laughs> I said maybe. Look, you said yourself the timestamps were all for when you were home alone. Sleeping in a hotel tonight. With what money? Our credit cards are maxed out, the mortgage payment's due next week. Natalie, would you just stop? If you're seeing it, just tell me. He's so hung up on the... <sighs> Mr. Dadich, good to see you again. Thanks for coming down on short notice. I'm just looking for some answers. Uh, well, I am right there with you. So we went through your security footage. Before we take a look, just want to go over your wife's official statement, if that's okay. According to police records, your wife is possibly the intruder. She runs upstairs, locks the door. Then somehow, the intruder ends up in the room with her. She goes to run again, blocked in by a bookcase. A bookcase our team concluded was in a position inconsistent with her story. Mr. Dennis, to the best of your recollection, is this account consistent with what you believe to be true? Yeah. Okay. Lord, I'm gonna make this little girl look crazy. At no point, does the footage ever capture another person? Not in the living room. Not in the foyer. Not on the staircase. Mr. Daniels, <coughs> you never enters or exits the premises until your wife throws herself out of the window. Holy shit. I'm not making this up. I never said that. It's called fucking subtext, Kevin. Why else would you ask me to go back on my medication? Alright, let's just take a moment. Back on the medication, child. Um, I'd like to be clear that no one in this room is suggesting that you're fabricating anything. Believe me, okay? I know how this sounds, but I know what I saw. I'm not delusional. We, we never should have moved into that house. But we did. So, so we sell it. After all the attention you've drawn to it? We, I meant we drawn to it. <laughs> yes. We can sell it back to Claudia and her husband. Okay, I spoke with Robert and he Wait, said you that... spoke to Robert? When? When I went to go ask Claudia for some history in the house. Oh, Look, it was a valid concern. Why would you bother them about being haunted by who the fuck knows what in a place where their family was murdered? I don't know, Kevin. Why are you so concerned with everyone else's feelings but mine? Oh, just take this session. I'm not going well, child. I don't understand how I'm the bad guy here when all I'm doing is looking out for you. You don't have any boundaries, Natalie. That's your problem. You do whatever the fuck you want. You don't care how people feel. Oh, but what about how I feel, Kevin? You have never sounded more like your mother. You know that? Ooh. You're such a fucking asshole. Why would you even say something like that? 
Damn, Kevin, you Oh, yeah, that's great. Just go ahead and walk away like you always do because you're a fucking coward. Kevin? What are you doing? Oh, Kevin. Uh-oh, Kevin, I... Kevin! The Kevin, the guy does the same thing, um, the same thing, oldest, older you have. Oh, boy. This is Damage. He is coherent, and there are no indications of any memory loss or other physical trauma. Okay, so what happened? Uh, why don't you have a seat? Wait. <laughs> Are you aware of something called Narian? No. It's a lethal poisoning agent. And the reason I ask is because we found traces of it in your husband's bloodstream. What? Now, taken in small doses over a prolonged period of time, it can lead to health deteriorations ranging from vomiting or muscle weakness to seizures or arrhythmic heart function, sometimes mistaken as cardiac arrest. Do you have any idea how that got into his blood? I'm afraid I can't let that It's my husband. What do you mean you can't allow me to I understand that, Mrs. Dadich, but he's with the authorities right now, so why don't you just have a seat? Oh, no, no, they think it'll be I'm on your side, Natalie. Well, it doesn't feel like it. Well, I'm just trying to understand. According to Mr. Dadich's hospital records, he's been exposed to this substance for quite some time now. Why would I try and kill my husband after working so hard to rebuild our marriage? No, maybe because this Nick Scott guy comes back from the town. No, you decide you want to have a life with him. Young, stable, handsome. Not to mention, he's kickstarting your career. I love my husband. Maybe a chemical imbalance in the brain. That's put into you running around the house from an invisible intruder. There was someone in my maybe house. Maybe because you just realized your husband is never going to forgive you. Ooh. Girl, lawyer up in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this you ending our conversation? Well, if I'm not under arrest, I'd like to get back to work now. Yeah, by all means. You're in a fucking pickle now. Got the authorities breathing down your neck. Your husband's sick. Ghost man trying to be with you. <coughs> not to mention the Nazis outside, girl. Uh-oh. You are the camera. How are you feeling? Better than yesterday, I guess. Uh, hey, I just gotta make a simmer tonight. Is there anything you want to request? No, I gotta work with the project again. With Avery? Yeah. Well, I mean, are you sure that you should be pushing yourself like that? You just got out of the hospital. It's half our grade. I don't really know that we have a choice. Not, not today, me. Satan. Not today. Plus, we're running behind. I don't want to make her lift all the dead weight. You don't want to take your lunch? No, I'm not feeling up to a whole meal. Start like. Nah, I don't want to get poisoned, uh, bitch. I don't trust uh, you. That's what that is. Girl. How you gonna get out? Mm -mm. looking real dark for you, child. Can I help you? Well, sorry, uh, you're just such a, a beautiful woman. I think you have the wrong house. Oh, I just like to get right into things, huh? Oh, what are you doing? Uh oh. What the hell? Oh my god. for you. We were able to ID your attacker, Travis Murray. Your camera caught him canvassing the house just before the attack. 
We have reason to believe he's been watching your house for quite some time now. So what do we do now? Get a lawyer, press charges? Uh, well, not exactly. We aren't actually able to place him under arrest. What? There is an investigation that has dug up some information relieving Travis of all charges. What do you mean? He broke into our house. Robert Sorrentino, the man who sold you the house in which you currently reside. What does he have to do with anything? Sorrentino has been taken into custody just a couple of hours ago. He admitted to his involvement. What are you saying? He sent some stranger to our house to attack her. Our detectives found an online post in Travis Murray's search history. Mm, shut it her up. Mrs. Dadich's name, in addition to a photograph pulled from an online source. I'd prefer to be taken by surprise. Yeah. It was an ad listed under the personals and intended to portray Mrs. Dadich as a lonely, unsatisfied housewife. Spontaneous submissive sex, preferably. <coughs> Ooh. Luckily, I to set her up. Girl, this is too much trauma for you right now. Robert. It's. Robert also admitted to posting the initial listing that provoked the vandalism to your house, as well as purchasing the magazine subscriptions. Mr. Sorrentino claims he wasn't trying to inflict harm, just trying to scare you all, hoping you'd forfeit the purchase. You nearly had my wife rape and beat. She is so traumatized she can't sleep in her house. He poisoned my dog to death and tried to do the same fucking thing to me. Hey, well, hold, hold on, hold on, Mr. Dadich. As of now, Mr. Sorrentino denies ever personally entering the property. He says he has no knowledge of the other attacks against your wife and has never been exposed to the area. No shit. <laughs> of course he fucking deny it. Fraud is one thing, but attempted murder is gonna sit on the shit. Are you listening? We have our men working around the clock to get a confession look at her she looked mm -mm, dead in the eyes on oh. the charges he's taken responsibility for i thought he said there's some good news well there is upon questioning him we now have reason to believe he has a certain level of involvement with the death of the previous homeowners how so well unbeknownst to mrs Orantino, robert had accumulated a significant amount of debt so your house knowing you left to him by his brother-in-law was the only financial venture he had going Ooh. Oh, she knew it too. I'm sorry. <sighs> just tricking myself into believing that I just waited it out. But you come around. But you and I both know that. You're never really gonna trust me again. Not hundred percent. I think that we should talk about separating. At least for a little while. Girl, I can't even blame you. Between the mama, the sister, the trauma, infidelity. Got the ghost man running through your house. Car going on fire. That's too much. She needs a break. He needs a break too. Almost being poisoned. Look at she got still got her camera going. Time for all these loose ends. What about the, the hand? What about where's your sister? Aren't you wondering where your sister at?
Don't tell me that wasn't even her that texted him. Answer the phone. And what's the point? She made it very clear that she doesn't want me to come home. She's your wife. You should answer the phone. Hey, it's me. Um, I don't even know where to start. I'm sorry. Her. What I said last night, I didn't mean it. Sorry, uh, that seems like you're still at work, but if you could come home soon, I'd really love to spend some time with you. I love you. Call me up. Call me. You see, she didn't send that text. I don't get it. That's the thing about people. They change their minds a lot, actually. Go home to your girl. You know, um, we can just pick this up tomorrow. Kevin, go home. Oh, Lord. Let's go home because your wife's in danger. She in the tub and the old man's still around. I know that old man ain't gone. Jesus Christ, man. Get together. Girl, you ain't got no taser, no gun, no nothing. come home quick. the old man ghost texting.
just be sleeping under the, under the bed? I don't know what you're talking about. Kevin, your wife just told you she didn't send you the text. <sighs> Hurry your ass home. Oh my god. Nah, I'm divorcing you after this. You use a shitty ass husband. Dead fall asleep, something. <laughs> so, it's not a ghost, it's a thing, or what the fuck is that? It's been living in the basement this whole time. you to be here with her. You loved her. Oh, what? Cheryl. After everything that you could love. She still chose him, didn't she? It's, it's too much. Keeping a little ma a man in the fucking basement. 
You didn't deserve that. She built the house so she could keep it in there. Girl, he's not gonna let you go. You're gonna work out basement boy. Come on, be smart about this girl. Play me a rule. Play me a rule. My thing is when Aaron left, why didn't he just escape? A little overboard on the steam, that. the romantic effort that counts, I guess. Literally, you know, homegirl is tied up in the fucking basement. Or under the house. Ooh. There you are. Who's that? It's a scam that you're not thinking the bathroom it took a hit, though. <laughs> Lord. Hey. How could you just tell that in your girl? You must smell too. Oh, you must know that ain't Natalie. Danny. Yes! Ooh, why didn't they make a time? Oh, 
Yeah, just have to fuck on that one. Why'd you go upstairs? trauma therapy. So let's, let's switch over to that. Hopefully they're living happy ever after.
Now, I'm not scared to go to the bathroom or anything like that, but it was a really good movie. A lot of human emotional elements to it, a lot of trauma going on. It did have its spooky, creepy moments. It was more, and then the ending was more like action packed. Um, I did like how we couldn't really figure out if it was somebody in the house, a ghost, a demon. It's just a, it's just a regular, regular man. So I like the twist in that version. So it was really good. It didn't, it didn't scare me like out of my pants, but it was a solid horror movie. Like I'm gonna give it. I think I'm gonna give it like a good something five out of ten, eight point eight out of ten. It was a really good movie. Like definitely check out um, Aftermath on Netflix. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments about what you thought about the movie. Give me suggestions about another movie we could watch next Friday night. And get show another spooky movie. Bye.